Hello, my Italian food fanatics. Today, we're going to make a phenomenal pasta dish. It's linguine with artichoke hearts and olives. Along with it, it's going to come a little bit of garlic. We're using some chicken stock. Uh, we're going to use some tomatoes and some basil, parmigiano reggiano at the end there. Now, you can make this completely vegetarian if you use a vegetable stock. And if you use a kind of a fake cheese, uh, you can make it a vegan one too. Although nothing, not even cheeses, real cheeses made here um, can compete with the real Parmigiano Reggiano. Before we get into the kitchen, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. It should be right up here. Hit the bell, bing, so you'll know when I uh, release a new video. Share with your friends if you are so inclined. If you have any friends, if you have friends, you got to share. Sharing is caring. And leave a comment down below. All right. I love comments. And if you've made anything from my channel and you want to shout out, please contact me on social media, on Instagram at, at Chef Argenti and uh, give me your name uh, and the pictures of your dish. And I'm happy to feature you on a future episode of Italian Food Fanatics. With that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the kitchen. You're going to love this pasta. I guarantee it. All right, let's get started. First and foremost, we need some linguine. Of course, this is a pasta dish that uses linguine. This is the De Checo. It's uh, not the highest quality, but very, very good. We're going to need some artichokes because we're going to use artichoke hearts. Now, you can use canned, but I prefer to use fresh. It's a lot more work, but uh, we are cooking from scratch and uh, where we can we will use products from scratch. There'll be some tomatoes in there. We're gonna need an, a lemon to use with our artichoke hearts and uh, some chicken stock. We'll use a little bit of California extra virgin olive oil. We'll be using some garlic and some Kalamata olives and some basil. And last but not least, a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. A lot of stuff to get into the camera, but here you go. All right, so what we need to do is we need to process our artichokes, cut up our tomatoes, slice our garlic, and quarter these olives. And I'll be back when all of that's done, and I'm going to show you what to do here with the artichokes. All right, for our artichokes, we need a bowl with some water, and then we're going to take that lemon and I'm going to quarter it this time. I want to get as much of the juice out as possible. And we're going to squeeze that lemon and its juice into the water. We need what's known as acidulated water. And this stops the oxidization of the artichokes. If you've ever worked with artichokes, as soon as they're cut and their surface touches the air, they begin to get black on the on the outside. You can see how when they cut that there, that's oxidized. It happens to all vegetables. Um, it happens to everything, except uh, artichokes are highly um, likely to just turn black on you. So we do that first, and let me come back and show you how to process the artichoke. Since we're dealing with the artichoke heart, I'm going to cut off the stem here, and then we're going to pull back these leaves all right I'm gonna not gonna I'm not going to uh, stand here and, and do this pull them all back but just suffice to say we do that and we are going to cut the top of these off as well because you don't want your fingers being pricked by the the ends of this so cut that off you need a pretty sharp knife because it's tough to get through these and then we're going to peel everything back and I'll come back when we got when we've gotten to the center of the artichoke. All right, I've pulled everything back and we've now gotten down to what this is called. This is the choke, these uh, these fibers, because when they go in your throat, they choke you. <laughs> that's the, that's basically uh, what why they're called, why they're called artichokes. That's the choke part. So we're going to remove all of this. And in the meantime, you see it's already becoming, um, starting to oxidize so we'll dip it in the water just like this and that helps stop the oxidization process 
Okay, so that's basically all the choke. You can actually, because these are globe, you can eat a little bit of that, but I would prefer not to. And then we're going to trim the bottom. I'll come back when we do that. And so now all you got to do is just cut until you get rid of all of the really dark green areas. And we have the artichoke heart exposed here. Of course, we're going to want to put this into the acidulated water as soon as possible. I'm going to cut the, uh, the all these green parts out of here. You can see how it's uh, uh, already oxidized. And I'm going to cut this into eighths and throw it in the water. And we'll do that with the other two artichokes and I'll come back. All right, we're back. I've gone ahead and quartered the olives because I like them quartered. I think they're more elegant that way. I have taken the seeds in the center out of the tomatoes and cut them up fine. The artichokes, as you can see, have all been uh, put in acidulated water and you can see that they're not changing color. And of course, our garlic is sliced fine. Now it's time to go onto the stove. All right, we're on the stove. We have a pot with four cups of regular water in there. When that comes to a boil, I'll add exactly two teaspoons of regular table salt and we'll end up cooking the linguine in this. Uh, I don't use any special salt, doesn't need to be rock salt, doesn't have to be anything, just regular table salt. Salt is salt after all. And now we'll turn our attention to the condimenti or the sauce. All right, we're on the stove and we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in our saute pan. I'm always a little bit generous with the olive oil. And we'll put in our garlic. And we're going to cook that until the garlic is a golden brown. And then we'll add in our olives, our artichoke hearts, and the chicken stock. All right. You can see how our garlic is slowly turning golden. We want to arrest the cooking right there. So we'll add in our olives. We'll add in our chicken stock. And that instantly stops the cooking. And then we are going to slowly add in our artichoke hearts. I don't want to add the acidulated water in there. I just want the pureness of the artichoke hearts to go in. No seeds from the lemons or anything like that. So, And of course, they're raw, so they're going to have to cook. We're going to let them come up to temperature, and they're going to cook away for about 7 to 10 minutes. Uh, of course, you don't have to sit here and watch this, but uh, I'll be right back when they are soft or tender. All right, our water's come to a boil. We'll now add our two teaspoons of regular table salt. And once that dissolves, which is literally instant, you can even use the pasta to turn it around. We'll add our linguine in there. And we're going to cook that until it's just al dente. We don't want to be tossing the pasta around in the condimenti for too long because the artichokes will be soft and they'll be very, very delicate. So we'll cook this and we'll come back. All right, we're about two minutes out from our pasta being ready. What we're going to do is add in our tomatoes and our basil. And we're going to let these cook for the final two minutes. And we want to tear the basil just like this. We don't want to throw it in as I do in some other uh, recipes. I just toss it in uh, whole. I'd rather have this in pieces for this particular dish and removing the big center rib out of there to make it a little bit more elegant. There we go. A couple, little bit more. You can tell this is an American Italian dish by virtue of the fact that it's using so much basil and also so much garlic. Anyway, this is going to cook for a couple of minutes. And when our pasta is ready, we'll add it in, mix it around, 
and before but before we do that we're going to adjust the seasonings i'll be back to do that when it's time in the meantime we have our parmigiano reggiano block here and what i like to do is you can see that it's sweating because of the humidity here i'm going to just cut off a chunk like this and we're going to use that to grate in and we'll wrap this in plastic so it's not handled i think that the cheese is better off if the hands you, you have this big hunk in piece, you cut it up and put it away so that it's not, uh, the, the, the bacteria and stuff like that doesn't uh, get on the cheese. Now that seems to be nitpicking perhaps for some of you, but that's the way I like to handle it. I like everything to be clean. All right, our pasta is almost ready. And now I'm going to check for seasoning. It's going to need salt and pepper. Put a little pepper here and of course a little bit of salt as well not too much all right i'll be back when the pasta is ready all right our pasta is done i mean it's literally 30 seconds away from being al dente and so we're going to bring it into the pan turn up the heat and we're just going to we're going to lightly mix this around and the reason is, is because there's already a lot of liquid in there. And we do not want to damage the artichokes because, believe it or not, they are perfectly done. They're very, very tender and nice. With that said, if you plan on making this and you're going to use um, canned artichokes, just prior to putting the pasta in the pan is when you should add them because if you add them the way that at the time that we added the raw ones they'll disintegrate um, it'll be a, it'll be a big mess so now you can see that i'm very gentle it's not like i normally where i'm tossing things around but i'm we do saute but with these with these instruments here I am very, very gentle because I don't want to damage those artichokes. All right, and look at the beautiful colors here with the red and the green. And we're going to add in some fresh basil in just a second to accentuate that. But look at this, how sweet it is. All from scratch, all gorgeous. Wow. I, can, I really can't wait to taste this. This is something else. All right. So now, it's literally ready to go. Um, the water has been uh, soaked up by the pasta. We have it in there. It's it's seasoned properly. Everything's good. All right, let's uh, let's dish it up. All right, my Italian food fanatics, you saw me dish it up. Now it's time to taste and see if this is any good. Artichokes, olives, linguine, basil, garlic. Oh, how sweet it is. Those are those globe artichokes too. This is something else. Wow. Mm. You know, even though artichokes have a very subtle flavor, when you bite into them, it comes through. They're perfectly cooked. They're not mushy. They have just a little bit of resistance to them, which is perfect. The tomatoes and the basil, of course, go together. And the colors are fantastic and of course when you add that parmigiano reggiano on the top of that um, that binds it a little bit uh, which is a good thing it also adds it adds the parmigiano flavor that you know is indescribable until you've actually had it hmm pasta perfectly cooked now truth be told I did put a lot more sauce or condimenti on than you would probably get in a restaurant. But then again, 
This is our home. We can do whatever we want. And uh, the more vegetables that you eat, I think the better for your health. Hmm. Oh, I love artichokes. I love artichokes. Now, you can use the canned ones. Of course, I chose not to use the canned ones here because we're cooking from scratch. But if you do, like I said earlier, you have to put them in at just the last second and just basically warm them through. Um, cut them in quarters and uh, be very, very gentle with them. Uh, and they should their integrity should be fine. But they also come with a different flavor, too. They don't come with this pure artichoke flavor. It's because they're canned and cooked in the can. Anyway, I'm going to finish the rest of this. Before I go, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. It should be up here. Hit the bell button so you know when I release a new video. And uh, share. Leave a comment down below if you have a couple of seconds to do so. I really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching my channel. Wherever you are in the world, I hope that you're having a great day. And I'll see you in our next episode. Bye.